This is our video tech tip on nodal point prisms. Everybody knows surveying prisms have an offset. The common offsets are 0, negative 30, uh, negative 40 uh, if you're in a nodal. Again, this tech tip is uh, particularly focusing on the nodal position. This Eclipse series, our 6400, uh, comes uh, with an adapter that puts you in a negative 30, which is a common offset. Or without the adapter, when it's screwed in, the prism is screwed in to holder, it's negative 40. Uh, in negative 40, it's in the nodal position, which means that the optical and mechanical and electrical center of the prism is directly co uh, concentric uh, with the plumb line. So when the prism turns, the optical mechanical center is dead on the plumb axis. Uh, this is very important for a precise short distance surveys. Uh, traverses or any type of layout where you need a precise angle and distance location. Uh, this offset uh, 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 can be tested by pointing at the center of the prism, the apex, with your total station and then having your rod man turn it back and forth in azimuth or up and down in tilt and you will see that the apex of the prism stays directly on your instrument crosshair, it doesn't move. Whereas if you change it to the negative 30 or a zero offset prism and do the same test, you'll see that is when you turn it uh, in a rotating adapter, of course, that holds it over the plumb line, that it moves off center. A nodal will not move off center. So that's the advantage of a nodal. The rod man does not have to try to perfectly point it back because he's never going to be perfect, face it. So the nodal point eliminates that potential field error and allows you to have precision angles at all distances. The 30 millimeter adapter is like so. It just screws on the back of the prism easily to convert from 40 to 0. I'm sorry, negative 30. Okay, easy conversion. We also have it in the mini prism, which is a 17 and a half offset. Uh, the tool uh, is different on different physical diameters and heights of the prism. That's what really determines the uh, nodal and the offset is the height of the prism. So to get nodal in a mini prism configuration, it's 17 and a half millimeters.